the evening. Thailand taking on Iran at 147 pounds. This is going to determine who is going to be the winner of the Nern Chayo eight-man tournament. In the blue corner, we have Pahum Garati Makie. He is 19 years old, 179 centimeters tall, 30 fights on his record, 25 victories, five defeats. He is originally from Iran, and he's training and fighting out of Petsaman Gym in Patea. And now introducing his opponent fighting out of the red corner, he goes by the name of Nurmek Bong Seven Farm. 28 years of age, 172 centimeters tall, has a total of 60 fights, 47 victories, 12 losses, and one draw. He is from Uttaradit province, and he trains at Bong Seven Farm. So. Parham was able to win his group in his final fight of the evening. He won it in a spectacular fashion from what I remember by head kick KO. He knocked out Palangpon Atsuk Muay Thai and was able to earn his place in the final. Unfortunately, his original opponent, Liam Griffin, wasn't able to make it to the final because he fought in the UK last month and it was too close to this bout. But nonetheless, we have Nurmek Pong Seven Farm, who was recently on the show and won by knockout in his previous bout as well. But Parham is a real prospect coming out of Iran, who, if anything, I reckon he's going to follow in the same footsteps as Sarush Akbari, Kevin. Wow, I mean, that's a really big claim. I've got to say, I mean, Sarush Akbari, probably one of the best fighters I've ever had here on. LWC Super Champ in terms of um, having a promising future. I mean, I just think that Parham, he's got such a good technical style about him. He's got a lot of amateur fights behind him in Iran. I remember watching him fight last year and he got thrown straight into the deep end against Daniel Rodriguez, the current Rajdanan champion. And unfortunately lost that fight, but He's done very well since then. He's actually had a really good year, Palm. I don't think he's lost in a very long time. And he's done very well on LWC Super Champ. Looking forward to watching him compete tonight, Kevin, in the final. Yeah, Nurk Mek, though, looking to stop that momentum. And there you see, once again, it's Yusuf Buganem in the blue corner there, attending to Parham. Lots of support, though, from Parham here to tonight. Wonder what that will do for his confidence. Yeah, lots of support here in the stadium and online as well. A lot of the Iranian Muay Thai pages really talking him up and getting behind their fellow countrymen. I really do think he is probably up there with one of the best prospects to come out of Iran at the moment. So there, great round of applause from Parham's supporters in the blue corner. And here we go, round one underway. And this is a three-round bout. Good kick there from Nurmek to start things off, but Parham very strong, holding on to the kick. Good one-twos there from Nurmek. Nurmek with a shot to the body, and Parham with a right hand straight to the head. Well done there for Parham. And Parham staying nice and light on his feet. And Nurmek really taking the fight to Parham early on. There's no feeling our processes here. Just skipping in and landing that upward elbow, Parham and Nurmek looks like he's a bit overwhelmed by the fast pace that Parham is putting on him in round number one. Nurmek also on really good momentum, winning his last fight by KO. Trying to continue that streak right now. Good hold of the kick there from Parham and a big elbow from Nurmek, which may have stunned Parham for just a moment. Another jab there from Nurmek. Good body kick there from Parham. Back and forth we go. It's only one minute past. One twos again here coming from Nurmek. Parham with a team trying to keep his distance away from Nurmek for the time being. Good body shot there from Parham. And Parham changing it up. Good look in the clinch here from Parham. Nurmek pushing away using the long guard and getting the last laugh in the clinch with the straight knee. Yeah, nice knee to the midsection there from Nurmek. Straight knees. Otherwise the count the most and Thought that punch would have got Parham just off balance for a moment. 
Yeah, Pollen really needs to be careful as he comes into close range because Nurmek has landed some very good counter shots so far that would have knocked down lesser worthy opponents, the lesser worthy fighters. And it's so far so good for Nurmek. Landed a couple of shots and seemed to have stunned on him a few times and now in the clinch. Trading blows, very happy to trade knees with him. Yeah, good clinch work here from Parham. Sneaking his way to the side of Nurmek and landing some good knees up the middle. Another punch landing there from Nurmek. Nurmek trying to go for the elbow, not sure it landed cleanly. Miss of a kick and a return there by Nurmek. Nurmek with a left hand to the body of Parham. Putting his combination together. Don't think any of those landed cleanly though. Excellent first round we're seeing so far in this tournament final. This is what the Grand Child Tournament is all about. 147 pounds. Nurmek with a left kick connecting it to the body. And the body shot connecting for Nurmek. Nurmek though receiving elbow from Parham. Maybe stuff for just a moment. Parham going to work on Nurmek. Parham trying to finish strong here. Nurmek with the locking knee at the end of the clinch exchange though. And Parham comes diving straight back in again into the pocket, delivering heavy artillery. And that's going to do it for round number one. Very interesting first round we just saw there. Nurmek, Bong Seven Farm in the red corner, and Parham from Iran in the blue. And good exchanges we saw there. Nurmek connecting with a lot of good combinations. He also put together his, his boxing very well. And of course, the strikes to the body landing with ease. Parham as well having some big shots. Ali, maybe a difficult round to score. How did you see it? I thought I'd give it to Parham. To be honest, though he started the round very convincingly and ended the round very strong too. But he did get tagged a couple of times. We see just there on the replay, getting the hit with the right elbow, counter elbow from Nurmek. But uh, yeah, that's, that's the way I'm going. I'm going with the blue corner, Kevin. What about yourself? Quite frankly, I'm going to go with Nurmek. I thought his overall output was just better. He's a lot more accurate in my opinion. But that's a good way to build. I mean, Difficult round to score. I mean, wonder how the judges scored that one. But one thing's for sure, Parham definitely finished more stronger. Well, let's see. We are heading into round number two. We've only been in round number two three times today. Let's see how this one turns out. That is a very interesting decision right there. What a night of action has been here at Lumpini Stadium. Round number two. Let's see if Nurmek has put, got himself together. I mean, he looked like he was almost stopped in that first round. Parham looking like he's easing with his attacks. Showing them very well, connecting very nicely. Another right hand connects there for Parham. Into the clinch we go once again. Parham just out-muscling Nurmek. It's Nurmek once again on the front foot. Trying to get close to his opponent. Good punch and a kick there. Or a good kick and a punch there by Nurmek. I do like what I'm seeing from Nurmek, but Parham with some very good counter fighting as well. He's staying light on his feet, but I agree with you. I like the fact that Nurmek's level changing a little bit as well. You don't normally see that a lot from Thai, Thai fighters. Quick jab to the body. That tells me that Nurmek has had a bit of boxing training as well. And he's strong in the clinch, I must say, from what we saw just now. It seemed like Parham had the stronger clinch, but it wasn't to be. Good elbows there coming in for Parham. Parham doing a lot of damage on Nurmek. Seems like only a matter of time now until Nurmek loses his footing, loses his composure. 
Oh, and really taking the fight to the He wants to finish this early. His corner now, Prime's corner, urging him to keep on going, keep the momentum going. Yeah, this rally right here from Parham is probably going to be a determining factor for this round. And i got to say, it was awful body language shown by Nurmek. Nurmek just losing his balance, gets up right away though. Good right hand there by Parham, another elbow connects. Nurmek trying to come back with the elbow of his own, but missing that one. A lot on the line here, a lot at stake, 60,000 baht in tournament prize money, and of course the bell. Good right hook there from Parham as he steers Nurmek into the side control position. He wasn't able to land a knee, but good dominant position for him though. That's definitely going to go in his favour on the judges' scorecard, Kevin. Oh, this is all Parham so far. I mean, you can just tell from the body language you're seeing from Nurmek at the moment. I mean, wobbly legs, doesn't know where he is at the moment. And a bunch of those one-two combinations, but missing the mark. Good shot to the body there by Parham, but that should be it. Looks like Nurmek doesn't want any more of that. It's getting up very slowly. Is he going to make the count? He doesn't. That is a round two KO victory for Parham. Garati Makie from Iran. Explosive performance. What a year it has been for this young Iranian fighter. The sky is the limit. Let's take a look at it again on the replay, Kevin. What did you make of that? I mean, if you want a textbook on how to break your opponent down, that is how. Parham going to the head and going to the body, finishing the fight. He made it look easy, but it was anything but. Parham working very hard to get that victory, doing very well on that power coming together. Just so unorthodox, but so powerful at the same time. You'd love to see a fighter like that. Super well-rounded. Congratulations, Parham. Okay, well, that is going to be it for us on the broadcast. My name is Ali McCoy. I'm joining the country box with... Kevin Amlin. And we will see you next week. Same time, same place. Good night, folks. LWC Super Champ! Oh! The winner by Kale goes to Blue Corner! Jididoy ka Paham, Kirati Makiye! Raja Pakan Sakru ning na kumushom ka, Diyalo Klap Ma, Mi Biti Ma Brangwa ning ka, Pushana, La Pupa, La Tamot Kong Rai Kandor ning Sabdani, LWC Sumushan! สุดยอดมากนะครับนี่คือการดันที่สุดผ่านทางสนามมวยเวทีลุมินิงเราในครั้งนี้นั่นเองนะครับและผู้ชนะสำหรับมวยรอบของเราในไฟนี้นะครับ
보좌가 밤 기라디 마귀에 네, 그 잠들 모여 랍난 자여 신체 잠남 더비엔 에드맨 토르맨 룬 147번 และแน่นอนนะครับไม่ใช่แค่เข็มขัดเท่านั้นยินดีด้วยครับกับผู้ชนะได้เงินรางวัล6 0,000 บาทสุดยอดโอ้วันนี้นี่กองเชียร์ชาวอิหร่านนี่มากันเต็มสนามบนเวทีเลยนะฮะยินดีด้วยกับแชมป์ของเราในครั้งนี้นะครับพาฮามกิรติมาคีเยครับนักชกจากอิหร่านส่วนผู้แพ้รองแชมป์ครับเนื่องจากนะฮะวันนี้นี่พลาท่าภายนอกเอานะครับให้ตัวแทนขึ้นมารับนะครับรองแชมป์ไม่ใช่ใครนะครับเหนือแม่ป่องเซเว่นฟาร์มครับรับเงินรางวัลไป 30,000 บาทยินดีด้วยนะครับแล้วก็ให้กำลังใจกับผู้แพ้ด้วยสำหรับรองแชมป์ของเรานั่นเองนะครับแชมป์และรองแชมป์ไปแล้วเรียบร้อยมาถึงอันดับที่3กันบ้างนะครับอันดับที่3ในมือรอบรุ่นนี้ครับได้แก่ฮิวโก้เรมี่จากฝรั่งเศสนะครับรับเงินรางวัลไป 20,000 บาทยินดีด้วยนะครับกับฮิวโก้เรมี่ครับจากฝรั่งเศสนั่นเองนะครับและแน่นอนนะฮะสำหรับอันดับที่4ยินดีด้วยกับอาเมียฮอเซนดาเมียเนรับเงินรางวัลไป 10,000 บาทนะครับนี่คือโฉมหน้าของมวยรอบของเราในไฟน์นี้นะครับมวยรอบเงินชายโยสินเชื่อจำนวนทะเบียนเอ็ดแมนทัวร์เมนต์รุ่น147ปอนด์แล้วอันดับ2 3และ4ยังจะได้นะครับเรียกว่าเป็นรางวัลปลอบใจสำหรับนักสู้ผู้แพ้รางวัลหัวใจชายโยครับสร้อยคอทองคำอีกคนละ1เส้นนะครับยินดีด้วยนะครับทั้งฮิวโก้เรมี่นะครับแล้วก็ทั้งฝั่งของอาเมียฮอเซนดาเมียนี่และเหนือเมฆป๋องเซเว่นฟาร์มที่จะได้ไปนะฮะและยังไม่หมดเท่านั้นนะคุณผู้ชมครับนอกจากมวยรอบคู่นี้แล้วอย่างที่บอกครับชกมวยสนุกเรามีรอนปลอบใจหรือมีรางวัลมอบให้ด้วยนะครับรางวัล Fight of the Night คู่มวยดูเดือดครับจาก Global h o u s ประจำสัปดาห์นี้ได้แก่คู่ที่2นั่นเองนะครับยินดีด้วยกับฮิวโก้เรมี่และอาเมียเซนดาเมียนี่ครับอารอนไปแบ่งกันเลย 10,000 บาทขอบคุณ Global House ครับครบหลากหลายให้บ้านคุณนะฮะและสำหรับรางวัล Fighter of the Night ครับนักมวยยอดเยี่ยมจาก Global House ประจำสัปดาห์นี้การคอที่เด็ด n e o d r e w นักชกจากประเทศสกอตแลนด์นั่นเองครับยินดีด้วยนะครับก็เอาชนะนักเพชรสมชายตีเจริญเมืองไปได้นะครับวันนี้ต่อที่ยอดเยี่ยมเอาไปเลย 10,000 บาทขอบคุณด้วยอีกครั้งหนึ่งครับกับ g l o b a 